Hey flower folks, welcome to Share Inspirations. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite shade loving perennials for the cutting garden. And number one, that's my favorite um, that I recently added in the garden is called Toad Lily. Now these are beautiful um, spotted purple spots on white flowers and the flowers are about a size of a quarter and they get about a foot tall and makes a gorgeous cut flower. For me, they would flower in the fall. I believe that's the way they flower in the rest of the country. I am um, in Southern California, high desert, and they're not fragrant. Um, as far as taking care of, I provide my tea and coffee grounds for it as fertilizer every other month. And it is in full shade. I have a pine tree above this, and as you can see, it is um, surrounded by other plants. I have iris and then I have uh, black-eyed Susan behind it. Um, the This is basically a part of a uh, thick lush cutting garden forest type so what I'm trying to do is the brutal hot sun um, won't have such a such a um, uh, bad effect like they would if they were just in under bears bear um, sunlight instead of having a lush garden around it because it creates high humidity and it creates a microclimate on its own. However, if you just have shade and you don't have this foresty area, it will still do great for you. Um, places under the under trees is its preference. Um, it gets about two hours of sun in the evening going down sun, but that's about it and it can take it just fine. That was the number one, um, my most recently added shade-loving perennial. I'm going to show you another one, which is right behind this, and it is called a lungwort. It is right here. This has got variegated leaves, and it produces pink and purple-looking flowers late winter early spring for me. This is also in full shade, getting about two hours of sunlight, going down sun in the evening. I fertilize this with tea and coffee every other month. And um, this is also a new addition to the garden um, I, that I added just this last month. Now, moving on to the rest of the shaded area, which gets morning sun is right here. This gets about two to three hours of morning sun and this one right here is called a Virginia right there. It produces pink flowers. It is a low growing plant and the flowers are about 12 inches tall. This is also a late winter early early spring flowering type of plant for me. Um, I fertilize this with tea and coffee every other month and does, it doesn't require anything else. Makes a great cut flower, lasts in a vase for about 7 to 10 days. Moving on to my fourth one, which is the Bleeding Heart. This is a white Bleeding Heart plant and I recently added this in uh, April here. And I also have another one, which is right there, right next to the Virginia. And this one is red. And they should be flowering for me now, but because they are just added to the garden this year, I'm assuming that they're not going to flower this year and they're going to do it next year. Um, with the heat of the summer setting in, they will go down to the ground. Something very important to note on these is making sure you mark where they are because they will die down completely to the ground and re-emerge in fall, uh, providing flowers early spring and then all through the spring until it gets super hot. I, we are now in June and then in a couple of weeks we're going to start seeing uh, temperatures 95 and up and this plant is going to be calling it, calling it the season. Um, and hopefully we'll have flowers next year. So this was a um, my fourth one that is a shade loving perennial. Um, the fifth one I have to show you is uh, this calla lily or um, right here. 
you can see this one is done for the season let me show you the little guys right here um, the baby the babies right there uh, same thing they are white ones and they grow very well in the shade love it I fertilize with tea and coffee just like everything else um, they produce flowers late winter sometimes they do it in the fall also and makes a great shade loving perennial now of course we have your standard items like say Estelby which is right there and then I also have Hosta but because these two get so much attention elsewhere I decided to not discuss those but definitely these five that I mentioned the um, calla lilies the bleeding hearts of all colors if you can find a pink one white one and um, a red one then you got the virginia the toad lilies as well as the lungwort and i also have some hostas here there's another one actually while i'm at it this one is called a this plant right here is called a Calivia. This also loves shade. However, the caveat with this is this is a warm climate plant. All the other ones that I showed you would go down to the ground and come back up um, and they can be grown in colder zones left outside. This one will not come back. If you are in zone eight and beyond, you can leave it outside, but anything cooler it will not survive it will need to be pulled or put in a pot or um, something along those lines it also makes a great cut flower this produces orange flowers very similar to the star of bethem or um, uh, ornithogallum i believe that's how it's pronounced um, makes a great long lasting cut flowers if you live in a warmer area like i do and you can leave it outside definitely give this a shot so um, this was my favorite perennials for the shade garden with some extras that I shared. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!